Hi, it's Ravenfly1232 and it's late night so be don't mind if I say something wrong or be slow. Um, I'm gonna be showing you today how to make uh, somewhat realistic lightning in 3ds Max using 3ds Max to de uh, design 2012 and a few effects. So let's start. We're s we're, uh, let's start by making our lightning. We we'll start by making line, which will be having these angles to make it look like a lightning. And now after it's made let's open our modify modify panel and use the sweep modifier and cylinder of course it's nice and somewhat symmetric it's well it got a bit big but we can just decrease the radius of it to somewhere near 0 0.008 it's good enough then I'm gonna be using two spheres to make make this spark show where it came from from here to here uh, let's make our spheres well this other one got a bit big but that's okay we can some size of it take just off and it's good Now that we have our scene set up done, let's animate this uh, lightning. So we, we're gonna animate it by using noise modifier. And let's use fractal and like point two one one oh now this got out of the area where I want it to be so I'm gonna just decrease this to like one five well it didn't help so I'm gonna just move the spheres here a bit now it's inside the sphere again and then let's check what does it look like oh I need to animate it of course silly me animate noise and frequency to be somewhere like 2 And now, well, I guess it's all all right now. Looks good. So now we start making the film effects part of the lightning, because if you render it now, it looks like this. Yeah, there's this weird-looking line and these two spheres, but it doesn't have the uh, plasma style which uh, real life sparks have so uh, let's create the fume effects simulation area just by hand drawing it's good enough now I get this more center and some amount up this is good. 
Next, from the hel helper tabs, um, I'm gonna take the film effects object source and select the line as my source of object. And then I'm gonna take open the film effects. Film effects um, user interface and select my object source to be the source and set the fuel amount to 20, 20, 30, whatever. Uh, illumination is all fine by me. Fire will be bluish, like it's gonna be look like, you know, plasma in the air. And I'm gonna be using key mode to make this look more blue and less white, so the white will be near the center and blue will be out everywhere, so it will have some characteristics from real life sparks. And cause smoke won't be used, let's take it out. And I'm gonna be dropping the spacing in this simulation area to get some more detail. Other way is to get some grid detail scale. Anyways, these are big and won't take much of this memory and processing power. But it will look a uh, shitty, shitty simulation. But it's all fine by me because this is just a tutorial, nothing too serious. S yes, everything will be simulated. I'm gonna increase the iter maximum iteration to the maximum amount, which is 900. They won't be used nearly as much as X. Even 200 is too much. But anyways, um, now when it's all fine by me, let's simulate and check it out. It doesn't look a much yet, but wait and see. Now, if I render this, we got this nice park. But because I'm not yet pleased enough, I will make material, which will be mental ray. Um, Autodesk metal material and I'm gonna be using chrome as the material. It's a nice preset already made for me. So I just apply to these spheres and render again. So in this frame it looks more shitty, but in the animation part it will look better. Well, that's all. Now you can now you can all make these nice sparks. Thank you and goodbye.